So, welcome to the rabbit hole we have fallen into. Uh, PlayStation games. I can't find my actual PlayStation. Apparently it's in a footlocker at my parents' house. Along with my uh, Pokemon cards and Pogs. Um, anyway, I have no cover for this. But uh, Tomb Raider 2. It's a, it's a fantastic game. I love the Tomb Raider series. The reboot was really good. Um, I only really played the first reboot one, which I thought was fantastic, that they turned into a movie, which was awful. Um, Tomb Raider, I mean, it's it's Tomb Raider. You dual wield and you shoot a bunch of stuff. Um, at least in Tomb Raider 2, they didn't go all wacky with um, having you shoot dinosaurs and whatnot. But I think at the end, is this the one where you, yeah, this is the one where you have to fight a dragon at the end or whatever. Um, Tomb Raider fantastic game even today um this is why i fell in love with tomb raider the interactive cd i think it came with the playstation i'm not sure where the hell this thing came from i've had it most of my life and i have no idea where it came from i got a playstation as a present one year after my dad broke my tv and then i went to my grandmother's house and there was a playstation i'm like well that's fantastic i wish i had a television to play this on anyway long story short I got one as a present when I got back. And then I made them like rent uh, Spyro. And then I played it for like three weeks straight. Again, Spyro is fantastic. This game was one of those ones where you had a demo for each kind of disc. Or, or demos in each disc and they had some movies and whatnot. This one had Gran Turismo, um, Tomb Raider, and Jersey Devil which I played the crap out of, but I never got to actually play Jersey Devil itself. Uh, Tomba 2. I love Tomba. I love Tomba 2. Um, I've played Tomba 2 so many times. I have it on my Vita, and it's only in Japanese, and I beat it in Japanese. And I don't read Japanese. That is how good this game is. Um, you Please play it with the sound off, because it's annoying as shit. Um, but Tomba, I mean, it's a classic. You throw stuff at enemies, side scroller. Um, this one went like two and a half D, which I thought was strange, but it works for the game. It, it looks really cool. And um if you never played Tomba or Tom Tom B, I think it is overseas. Um great game. Great game. It's extremely fun. Along with the Master of Nightmares that used to be mine, uh Crash Bandicoot. I have beaten this game. I don't want to play the remastered one because this game pissed me off so much. And I love it. I absolutely love this game. Um, again, it's like, it's the greatest hits because I didn't get into all these as they came out. That's why I had to sell some of them back in the day because like I had more games. And other people were like, hey, well, that's a first That's a first run. You got this. Can I, can I buy that off of you? I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. I don't care. This game, I played a lot of. I never played the 64 one because I never owned a 64. I had a cousin who had a 64. But we basically just played Pokemon Stadium all the time. Um, Mega Man Legends is basically an RPG Mega Man. You run around. like the, It has tank controls. We have to turn and shoot, which is annoying as shit. Um but, but this is a wonderful game. This game actually works. Don't play Mega Man the uh, 64 one. I have played it. it, it avoid it at all costs. Um, you can upgrade your weapons and all that. It's really fun. Um, like I said with the other game, uh, Nino Kuni, how uh, like some of the battle system works. Digimon World. The original Digimon World. Not like after that. Digimon World, where like you know, you're playing the whole game and you go through several Digimon before you even finish the game, because they die. I don't understand that they're digital monsters. Why would they like degrade or die in a game? I don't know. Pokemon don't do that. What the hell. Um, Digimon is fun, but like you can't do anything for their actions. You just shout the actions at them, and they're like, "Go K." Okay. I did it. And you're like, "Fucking hell!" That took forever. Um, I think my favorite one is when I finally got him to turn to the lion. That was cool. Numamon sucked. Um, the best X game. The best Mega Man X game. X4. I played a lot of this. I mean, a lot of this. This game is fun. 
Um, the other X games, they're good. Mega Man X originally is good, but again, I don't have, I never grew up with a, um, uh, Super Nintendo. I have the, um, the mini one, which is really fun and really cool. And it's like all tiny and costs $80 for some stupid reason, but hey, they got to get paid, I guess. Um, X-Men 4, pro the best in the X series, my personal favorite. Um, this was not a great game. But it was fun to me. Uh, Resurrection, Rise 2, Rise of the Robots. Um, it's a, think, Mortal Kombat, but with, like, robots. And it's worse. Um, I did beat the game. Um, I don't know why I played that much of it. It wasn't fantastic. But if you want a game where you, robots fight each other in a tournament, sure, play this game. I have no issues with it. Tenchu 2. Um... I will never get rid of this game because Tenchu was one of the coolest things ever. It was, um, you know, sure you could like see the characters or whatever, but it's like somewhat top down, more like the thing, like a uh, Tomb Raider style where you're a ninja, you know, and you get to play as two people. One girl has uh dual swords and then like, the other guy has like one sword. Um, you go around assassinating people Tenchu is a, was a great series. Now, they used to have uh, Final Fantasy IX, but that was the first run, so obviously somebody bought it off me. But this one I played more of. Final Fantasy VIII. The one where if you level up in the game, uh, the game gets harder to say, screw you, for playing this game. But I liked it. It blew my mind. I never played seven. Um, I never had a chance to play seven because I wanted to go out and buy like a, you know, like an RPG kind of game, even though I wasn't really sure what they were at the time, um, when PlayStation came around, but, uh, eight was like, okay, Final Fantasy, I, I've heard of that. And I think I played one of the ones on like SNES and like somebody else's house, but like basically we just ended up playing Donkey Kong Country, which I do like, but I have a weird hatred for because I was forced to play that game and I wanted to play like Final Fantasy and because I'm a Zelda fan. I don't know. Maybe that was it. But um, I like the story in Final Fantasy VIII. Um, I like the characters. I like the combat. And remember when like things had multiple discs and then PlayStation upped their game by like creating the whole Blu-ray system? And then Xbox said, nah, we wish we had that. That that was a, that was the time. I think everything has Blu-ray in it. I don't have an Xbox One, although I'd like to. I think they are basically like they sold them the rights. Um, so those are actually all my uh, Nintendo games. I mean, not Nintendo games. I have a stack in there, but I have to find them. Um, all the PlayStation games that I have, um, that I have played to death. Um, I think I have a memory card or two that still has the. Um, especially Tomb Raider on, um, anyway, those are all my games. Sorry, I was getting a little weirdly nostalgic over that. Games are fun. Obviously, my obsession is a little bit more movie-oriented, so that's basically what most of my content is. But, I like games, you like games, we like games, and, uh, yeah. I'm a dude, he's a dude, she's a dude, because we're all dudes. Yeah. Anyway, um, have a great day, night, whatever, wherever you are. Um, uh, wear a mask, please be safe. Um, don't be a monster. Doesn't have to be with the mask wearing. Just, just. That's a basic rule in life. Don't be a dick. Don't, don't be a monster. It helps. Anyway, I'm Jake. This is my collection. Later.